guys, welcome back. So today I am filming a first impression week review video on several new products that I picked up at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. And I'm actually getting ready to head out to work this morning. And normally I don't film before I go to work, but I'm working a lot of overtime at my job and I really wanted to use a lot of these new products. Well, they're new to me. I don't think all of them are new. I definitely think that they're not all new. There's only like one product that's new-ish, I guess. Well, first, let me just show you guys what I'm going to be like first impression of week reviewing today. First, I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and Concealer. The next thing that I'm going to be reviewing is this Kat Von D Locket Concealer, but it is the white one. And I wanted to use this as like an eyeshadow primer. The Becca Glow, what is this thing? On the Glow maybe? Glow on the, I can't read it. It's got this sticker over top of it. Glow on the Go, Shimmering Skin Perfector Moonstone. So this has like the liquid moonstone and a little mini um, moonstone like powder highlight, pressed powder highlight. The last thing are these Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And I'll probably do some swatches of these and I'll probably film it at another time, but I'll just add the clips in the video so you guys can see what they look like on. Um, Cause I'm probably not gonna have time to film all that this morning. And if you've never seen like a first impression week review video for me, I review the products for the first time and then I usually do a check-in at some point during the day and then right before I go to bed, I do another check-in. I'm gonna try to do a check-in at lunch today, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because technically at my work I'm not supposed to like film or take pictures since it is a warehouse that ships out like products like online like products and stuff like that. I don't know. They're really weird about stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll just see if I can film an update at lunch. I don't know if I'll be able to but I will film an update when I get home and before I go to bed. Now, I do work like 10 hour shifts at my job, so this stuff is going to be on my face for a very long time. So we'll really be able to see the wear on this stuff. But let's go ahead and I'm going to start to apply this. Um, I know that some people just go straight and like drop this right on their face, but I'm actually going to put some here on the back of my hand. It is a very runny foundation. I feel like my lights are so bright no matter how much I turn them down. I always feel like they're like a little too bright. But yeah, it's very runny foundation. And I'm pretty sure that this has like a light to medium coverage. It's supposed to be like really dewy and fresh and just, it's supposed to have really good wear too, even though it's not like, you know, a super full coverage foundation or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and just like dot some of this on. And I hope this shade matches me. I think it is a little darker than some other foundations that I own, but I think it'll work okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to blend this foundation in. Okay, I think it does have a little more coverage than just light. To me, this is almost like medium to full coverage. And I may need to zoom you guys in a little more so you can see what's going on. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to apply foundation to one half of my face first so you can see like the difference with the foundation like on one side to no foundation. I'm going to try to be fast with this because I know this video is going to be like super long if I don't. Okay, so here's just like one layer of the foundation on this side and no foundation on that side. So you can see that even though it is has pretty decent coverage, it doesn't look unnatural. It just looks like my natural skin but better. It looks really beautiful, the finish of it. I really like it so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the rest of my face. And I can definitely see where the applicator on this is annoying because sometimes it doesn't grab very much foundation. Um, I don't know. But maybe that's like all the amount you need for your whole entire face. But I always use way more than what companies recommend for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, it blends out so nice. And I do feel like this shade's a pretty good match for me. I don't know if it'll oxidize or anything, but as of right now, it looks pretty good. It feels really hydrating too. It feels so nice. Okay, I am going to go in with a little more foundation just around the center part of my face. My face has a tendency to get really red, like, in through there. And plus, too, I want to see if this foundation builds nice. So I do feel like it builds pretty nice. I don't think you could go in with a ton of layers of this, or I think it might start to look just like heavy or something. Not necessarily cakey, but it would just look like you had, you know, foundation on. Um, so. Okay, that's what that foundation looks like all over the skin. I feel like I'm like squishing down so you guys can see. I might need to, whoa. I might need to brighten my lights up just a little. I think another reason sometimes my lights look really bright is because, like, my skin basically matches my background. Like, my walls are kind of like a cream color, but once I turn those lights on, that makes it look really yellow. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and apply the concealer, and the shade that I got was light. Now, I do kind of like the packaging on the concealer, how it has this doe foot situation. So, I'm just going to put this here on my under eyes. And in some ways, I wish I would have gotten the concealer that was a little lighter and more yellow. So I don't really know what shade of concealer that would have been. Maybe it's fair. I don't know if they have a shade that's called fair. But you guys will have to let me know or I'll just have to look. Because I just don't know off the top of my head right now. Um, but this one is more of like a... I don't want to say salmon because it's not really salmon. But it definitely has more like pinkish tones in it than yellow or like orangey kind of tones. So, but it doesn't look bad, as you can see, on my under eye area. And it does a pretty good job of, like, hiding the under eye circles. Maybe that kind of orangey salmon kind of color helps to counteract dark, purpley kind of circles. And then I'm just going to take just a little bit. I don't want to take too much because I'm going to go in with that white concealer. So, I'm just kind of taking the leftovers up there. I mean, I know that people say that this concealer is more like lighter coverage, which I could see that, but I feel like it does have pretty good coverage. It's not like super, super light where it doesn't hide anything. It just doesn't look super heavy on your under eye area. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and set my foundation and concealer. Next, I'm going to go in with the Becca Moonstone. This is the liquid stuff, and then this is the powder. So I'm going to try to do liquid on one side, powder on the other. And I don't know how this liquid is, if you can use it like over top of like foundations and stuff. So we will see. I'm just going to just slightly dot it like right here. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if I used this before I would have sat my foundation with the powder because I feel like I feel like it does kind of cake up a little bit. So I'm probably not going to use any more of that just because I don't want it to get like real caked up with the foundation. So yeah, I would say either apply that before foundation or before you set it with powder. So now I'm just going to go in with the little powder. I think this is so cute. It's just like a little mini one, which I mean... I think it's a really great deal to get the liquid and this little powder for like $20 from Sephora. So this would make like a really cute Christmas gift or a gift for yourself. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly brush this on. Yeah, this is a really beautiful color. It's like not too gold. Sometimes like their other one and um, opal, it's just almost like a little too golden tone for me. But I feel like this is a really nice color for my skin tone. 
I wish it might be like a little more champagne-ish, but I don't know. It is really pretty because I don't really have a highlight that is this exact same color in my collection. So, and it is like a pretty intense highlight, but it looks really beautiful on the skin. So that's what that looks like. Really like this. Glad I picked that up. I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Locket the White Concealer. I think this is white out. And I'm going to be using this, as I said, as my eyeshadow primer today. I just thought that this would be a really cool product to use as like a white eyeshadow base. Because I would normally use Milk by NYX, but this is not supposed to crease, whereas Milk can crease sometimes if you don't put an eyeshadow primer down before and this just kind of knocks out two steps I don't want to do anything crazy with my eyes just because I'm going to work whoa just like knocked everything over okay <laughs> I'm so klutzy in the mornings. I mean, I'm kind of klutzy anyhow, but I'm extra klutzy in the mornings. Okay, I don't want to do anything super dramatic because, like I said, I'm going to work. But I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, Naked palette. First, I'm going to go in with Naked and Buck on my crease area. So, yeah, like, as you can see, that does a nice job of making eyeshadows just really stand out. And I do find that this white was like a pretty opaque white. And if you needed to build it up, it was easy to build up. It didn't get cakey or anything. So that's good. I'm going to go in with some of this half baked, which is this really pretty gold. And I'm just going to pat that here on my lid. Okay, yeah. I do really like this concealer as a white eyeshadow base. I think it works really well. And make an eyeshadow stand out. With this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, I have used the formula before. Like, I have the shade in Bow and Arrow. But I wanted to pick up this gift set of all these. So I'm going to try out some different shades that she has. And this was also a really good deal. I want to say that this was... $34. I don't remember. I'll put it in the video, but I mean her just liquid lipsticks by herself. I think they're like 20 bucks or something. So it was a really good deal to like test out some shades. I'm kind of in between like these two, which one I want to wear today since this is like everyday like work kind of look. I wish I could wear the Santa Sang Sangri or Sangra. Oh, it's just so pretty. I want to wear the red, but I'm not going to wear that to work. Um, I think I'm going to go with Lovesick just because it is a little bit more wearable. It's kind of like a purpley pink color, sort of like Snob or something like that. And I feel like this applicator is just like the ones in her regular sized lipsticks. So in case you were wondering which colors come in this gift set, I'll just put like lip swatches while I'm reading these off to you. So the first one is Santa Sangra, which is poison apple, um, or the color is poison apple. Apple is kind of like a orangey red sort of. The next color is Mother, which is a dusty mauve pink. Lovesick, which is a mauve nude, which is the one that I, oh my goodness, person. People are crazy in the mornings. Okay, which is the one that I have on. Backstage Bambi, which is vivid, which is a vivid hot pink. LUV, which is rich violet. Echo, which is a satin navy blue. Pats. Path. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Which is a deep russet red, which is kind of like a brownish red. And then the other one is Roxy, which is a bright grape. 
so those are all the colors you get in this gift set. I think it's a great deal, especially if you want to try out a lot of these. We will see how all these products hold up. I hope I can come back with the check-in at lunch. And I'll be filming it on my phone, so I don't know how great the quality is going to be. Um, but just to show you guys the time right now, it is 6.25 a.m. It's 6.25 a.m., so I will see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing my update at work right now, and it's lunch, and I think it's like 11.45-ish. So, as you can see, whoa, it's really bright. The lip color is still on. It's still kind of on there. I know that, like, after lunch, I'm definitely going to have to reapply that. The foundation is still looking really good. It's holding up real good, and so is the concealer, and the highlight is still looking pretty good. So, I know this lighting is kind of bad, but hopefully you guys can see so I will see you guys later on this afternoon, evening. -ish. Okay guys, I might need to zoom out a little bit, but I'm back and it is 5.57 p.m. So it hasn't quite been 12 hours since I've been away, but it has been quite a while. My hair is looking a little wild after <laughs> my work day. Um, you know how it is after you've been working all day your hair never looks as good as it did when you left the house i i am very impressed by this foundation and concealer like it has held up so good all day like as you guys can see like it looks so beautiful still um i mean it has maybe worn down a little bit like around my nose and like around my mouth and stuff but i feel like for almost 12 hours of wear time this is really good especially with it being more of like a dewy you know kind of more natural looking foundation like it looks really good with the eyeshadow i think maybe it is kind of creased just a little bit here but honestly i feel like it looks really good after 12 hours of having this on like my eyeshadow still looks really nice and I really liked this um, concealer as an eyeshadow base like I feel like it's going to be really awesome for that um, so yeah I'm really impressed by these um, with the highlights um, I mean it's still on there but I don't feel like it's as it is as intense as it was this morning but I do still really enjoy this. The lip product I did reapply after lunch, like I told you guys in the lunch update. And this is what it looks like since lunch. And that was, lunch was over at like 12.15. So this has been on since 12.15 and I have not touched it up. Um, so you can see like around like where I would line my lips, it's on, but in like the center of my lips is starting to wear down or wear off. So yeah, I mean, these Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, like they last for a good amount of time on your lips. You're definitely going to have to reapply them throughout the day, but they do last a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this little check-in because if I keep talking, this video is going to be like 30 minutes long because I'm going to come back here in a second a week later with my week check-in and give you like a full review on everything, let you know if my thoughts change, then give you like my ratings on everything. Um, so yeah, just to show you guys the date, if you look on my phone, it is November the 14th. So I will see you guys here in a week. So I'm back and it is now, I don't even know the date. Today is November the 23rd and it's the day before Thanksgiving. So it's been a little over a week. So I'm sorry if you hear any music going. My neighbor below me, she is a young teenager and she likes to listen to loud, crazy music. So if you hear anything, that's what's going on. Um, sometimes I'm like sitting here filming and I just want to start jamming because I hear jamming below me. So, but anyhow, um, so with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and concealer, I am in love with this stuff. This is like my new favorite high-end foundation and concealer. It's just so long wearing and it just makes your skin look really nice and natural. Um, it has really great coverage for looking like nice on the skin. Like it doesn't look cakey or anything. It gives your skin a nice glow 
and I mean as you guys saw in my update like it was still on pretty good I mean it did kind of wear off like the center of my face a little bit but for the most part like it looked really nice still so yeah I've been in love with this I would give both of these products five star ratings um so yeah, if there's anything else you want to know about these, just ask me down in the comments. I always feel like when I do these updates, I usually forget of things I want to say, but I have been in love with this stuff too. This is an amazing product to use as a white eyeshadow base in it, you know, to keep your eyeshadows from creasing. Um, like you guys know, I would normally use my um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, but sometimes that thing creases if you don't put like an eyeshadow primer underneath, but this is like an all-in-one step. Like you don't need to put a primer on underneath, you can just use this concealer and it's just like one and done. It does a really good job of just like brightening up whatever color you put on it, like it helps like eyeshadow stay really true to color. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. I love the applicator on this. This makes me want to go out and buy a shade that will actually match my face. I love the packaging on this too. Like I think it just looks really pretty. I always love the Kat Von D packaging. I love how her stuff looks edgy, but at the same time just looks clean cut. I don't know. I just love it. And I would give this Kat Von D Locket Concealer a 5 star rating. It's awesome. Uh, with the Becca highlights, I love it. I think this shade is the perfect shade for me. It's not too intense, but it's not too light. The color just looks really nice. So if you're more on the fair side, this is definitely the one that you should pick up. I thought that opal was like the color I needed, but after getting Moonstone, like this is my color. I love it. Now with the liquid highlight, I would give this powder thing like five star rating and I love the packaging on this. Like it's so cute and small for travel. Um, yeah, so I really love that. With the liquid highlight, like, I'm not the biggest fan of this yet. Like, I don't know. I just don't really feel like it shows up much on my skin tone. So, like I said earlier in the video, if you guys have used this product and maybe have a special way of making it work for you, let me know down in the comments or, I don't know. I just, maybe that's just the way it is. It's just not super highlighting. I just don't, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of it. But I do feel like that was a good little gift set to try these out for 20 bucks. I think it was $20. And then the last thing that I was testing out were these Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And I don't have the red one on me right now in Santa Sangra. But I have been wearing that color quite a bit lately. I really love that one. It's such a beautiful red. Um, it's so great for this time of year, like for Thanksgiving and, you know, the holidays and Christmas and everything. Such a beautiful color. Um, I've also really been enjoying Lovesick. It's a pretty, you know, pinky purple mauve, the one that I wore earlier in the video. It's just so pretty. I've been getting a lot of use out of this one. And like I told you guys, I love the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick Formula. I mean, I've had bow and arrow for a while now, and it's just amazing formula. Like, they go on so easy and they don't feel like cakey on your lips like you forget you even have them on now after you have been wearing them for a while your lips do get a little dry so I would recommend like taking like a little lip balm or something and just kind of putting it over the um liquid lipstick after a while if your lips start getting dry but like after lunch or whenever it starts to wear off because it starts to wear off in the center of your lips first. It's really easy to just go in and like reapply it and it doesn't get caked up. It doesn't look gross or anything like that. So yeah, I've really been enjoying those two shades at least. I really haven't gotten a chance to wear any of the other ones. But I do think that this is a good little gift set from Sephora. From Sephora, if you want to try out a lot of her liquid lipsticks. So I know that this video was probably really long, but I hope that you all did enjoy this week review on all these Sephora products that I picked up at the VIB Rouge sale. If you all did enjoy this, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments. And also let me know if you like these week review, first impression week review videos on more than just one product. Um, cause I know in the past that I know in the past that I usually just do one product, but if you all like it when I review multiple products in a video, just let me know. Um, so yeah. And if you would like to check out my last video, I'll have it linked right here. And if you are new and like to subscribe, just click on the little face right there and you can subscribe to my channel. So I hope that you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.